Okay, so have you ever been just riding out to the beach, just ready to get your gear all ready to go? You got a bunch of junk you gotta take with you, and it just doesn't all wanna fit. Put the kayak in there, it's long. You know you're gonna be driving around town, can't park anywhere, especially on the beach. Got this long surfboard, you think it's gonna get dinged up. You also gotta put the coolers and everything else in there. Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about why I bought my roof rack. Everybody's been asking me about it and it's been one of the best probably purchases of this year. I think they did I buy it last year. Well that's not really a big deal. I'm gonna talk to you of why I did it and how I got that expensive parking ticket and it kind of like sent me over the top on that decision. So here we go guys. All right so I know I've been kind of slacking on the videos. It's been crazy busy and I've been in a little rider's block but today I was cruising in and I was like man everybody needs to know about having a roof rack. I was pretty pumped about doing this video. So in this video I'm gonna break it down to like five reasons of why I bought that roof rack. You know I uh I used to just throw my kayak right in the back, just slide it in there, and just put a red flag on the back of it and rock and roll. And then I got a ticket. I was on Pensacola Beach. It was like so regular, like Tuesday afternoon. Bands on the Beach was coming on like five hours later. And I came off the water and there was a ticket on my windshield. Samantha had texted me and was like, hey, you got a surprise on your windshield. Boom, 175 bucks. And I was like, ouch, man. So I was like, there's gotta be a better way to transport these things so I can you know, park in a parking lot where they won't let you occupy two parking spaces because that's what I got it for. You know, I work downtown and I couldn't just throw my kayak in the back and you know, just uh, you know, cruise out to the beach later. So I was like, what can I do? Like, how can I do this? You know, and I also wanted to have storage space in the bed of my truck when me and Samantha load up to go out to the beach because when you're taking two kayaks plus chairs and ice coolers and rod and reels and you know you know boogie boards there's not a lot of room left in the truck so I got a I got a brainstorm Samantha was like go buy one of those roof racks so I did and it was truly an awesome idea. So I kind of touched on it. That number one reason is to kind of protect everything else. You know, you're not having to squish a, uh, a kayak or a surfboard in with cooler and then, you know, uh, your rod and reels and then something slides and a rod gets broke. I basically put the kayaks on top, surfboards on top, whatever else I want to carry that's long on top. I can slide the coolers in right there in the bed of the truck. I got a ton of extra room, especially if you're traveling and you got to go a long distance and you want to take some stuff with you, the kayak getting taken up the whole bed. The second reason, you know, we all know that when you're driving, you got a long kayak hanging out the back, you got the little red flag, half the time you forget the red flag, or you got to put a light on the back of it at night and you know some dude's gonna text and just run into the back of your kayak. The length is an issue. When you throw it on top, it's just boom, clean, precise, nothing hanging off the back, and it just makes things a lot cleaner. Which is my fourth reason, clean. It's just, it just, it's just easier, it's simplistic, it looks nice on the, on the touch, you don't have something hanging off the back, you don't have something you know sticking out in the parking lot, which that was me, just a, probably about six months ago. Yeah, and that brings me into my last point. I think I've done four or five points here. I'm just rolling with it as it's coming to me. But you can park anywhere. I can go downtown to the post office, kayak in the roof rack, locked. I can, I can leave it up there for days on end, locked up top. Gives me another anchor point, locked up top. I can park literally anywhere now except for in a parking garage because you might run into the top of it. But I can go on the beach, not occupy two parking spots. I can go park on the side of the road somewhere at a function or whatever, not occupy two parking spots. I don't have to drive around for like 20 minutes on a parking lot trying to find that one spot where I can edge in. It's just so much easier. It, it just allows you to just, I know I'm just, just rambling here, but you know, I like the roof rack and you should probably think about getting one. I'm gonna probably put a description box below the link to mine. Mine was like 280 bucks from Home Depot. I think you can get them on Amazon. Um, 
you know, it's just well worth it. Keeps your truck from getting all sandblasted and this is, cause the sand really ate mine up. The salt from the sand ate up my bed. It would wash down inside underneath the bed and my truck bed ru is rusting out. It, the, the tailgate's rusting out from sitting in, in the truck. Just FYI. But that's all I got really guys. I wanted to give you a quick no holes barred why I got that roof rack why you should probably think about it. I hope this kind of puts it out there. It'll hold like 400 pounds, so you're good to go. And you can also install like one of those rod tubes up there. Gets you a place to lock it. All right, that's it. I'm cutting it off right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Follow me on Yak Molly on Instagram, Facebook. See you guys later.